What's up y'all, it's Pat with Texas Freshwater Fly Fishing again, back at you with another Tuesday Tie. And today we're beginning a series of videos uh, dedicated to flies to fish at night. With the hot summer weather coming, a lot of us like to get out and fish in the evenings or even at night once that sun goes down when it's a lot cooler. Um, get out there under the lights, you never know what you can go ahead and, and catch. We're gonna start the series off tying a fly. You kind of already know how to tie. We did a video on it earlier, um, but it's gonna be a different variation of that. It's called the Midnight SMP. Midnight SMP. And like I said, we did a video on the SMP. You can go check that out. Um, but this is the Midnight SMP, and these color combinations I came up with. Uh, originally designed to fish at night. You can throw it throughout the day. We'll talk about that later too. The three main color combinations I tie this in. Tie it up right there. That one I call a Midnight Wine. Midnight Wine. This one's Midnight Chartreuse. But the one we're gonna tie up today, and probably my favorite, is just the Midnight Black. Just the Midnight Black. You can see that one right there. We'll talk about that as we go. Guys, these are great flies to tie. Um, very super versatile to fish. Like I said, fish at night and day. I originally designed them to fish at nighttime. Um, they're great for catching crappie, white bass, all sorts of things um, in the evenings and at night. You can even take them down to the coast. They're awesome flies to fish um, under the lights for specs or if you ever get out under a full moon to go fish out in the surf. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, these midnight SMPs are great for that. Remember, if you're liking these videos, be sure you hit the like button, share them with your friends, guys. It helps me, and be sure you subscribe and make sure you catch all these videos. If you need more information, be sure you check out TexasFreshwaterFlyFishing.com. And a little bit more uh, good news, these flies, along with some others, are now available for you to purchase at a pretty good price, too, for you to purchase at FlyDrology.com. So be sure you go check out flydrology.com. And um, that's about it. Let's go ahead and get to tying the Midnight SMP. All right, y'all, when I'm tying this Midnight SMP, I usually tie it bigger than I would tie a regular SMP. Um, I like a size eight nymph foot. So what I'm using today is a barbless nymph foot. That's what I usually tie it on. Um, I'll go down to a size uh, 10. Um, you can go smaller if you want to, but I like to tie them a little bit bigger than a regular SMP um, because I feel like at night you kind of want that little bit bigger profile, uh, a little bit easier for fish to see. All right, <clears throat> so we start off, uh, almost everything on this fly is black. There's some, a little bit of flash of the color and some different stuff you'll see, but uh, I'm gonna start by laying a base of thread down the shank of the hook black thread down the shank of the hook uh, from about the eye and we're going to wrap all the way to the bend. Once you get to the bend of the hook there, we're going to go ahead and wrap back up being careful to try to lay it down as smooth as possible. Doesn't have to be perfect, um, but just try to lay it down as smooth as you can. If you want to, you can kind of spin your thread to flatten it out. Um, on these midnight SMPs, I don't do that as much as I would on a regular SMP. Uh, I tie in a lighter color. But wrap back up the shank and you'll stop just about a kind of bead chain eye away from the eye of the hook. And there, we'll lay down, we'll lay down a bump of thread. Okay, that's where we're gonna put our eyes. I take a drop of super glue, just a little bit. So drop of super glue down, get my eyes. Slide them up so you can feel, feel the bump of that thread that's going to hold those eyes in place. I do five wraps one direction, 
And I try to straighten them out a little bit as I do some wraps the other way. And I'll just wrap the other way until I get those eyes straightened out. There we go. I like to check it, make sure that they're in line. Do a few more wraps each direction. I don't like to do too many wraps. I feel like sometimes the more wraps you do, the wobblier the eyes can become. But then I'll just take a few uh, circle wraps, go under the bead chain and above the shank, under the bead chain, above the shank, just a few times. And that's it. Those eyes should be locked in place pretty good there. All right, <clears throat> the next thing that we're gonna go ahead and do is tie on our ribbing with this Midnight Black uh, Midnight SMP. I use purple ribbing. Um, I really like the purple and black combination for these nighttime flies. And same thing, we want to take this, uh, this ribbing wire and go from the bead chain eyes all the way down. Trying to make sure it lays down smoothly right on top of the hook. And as we wrap backwards, we want to wrap smoothly as we can, covering that, keeping it down, and keeping a smooth body. The body of this fly, if you haven't tied a regular SMP, the body of this fly is just thread. So once you get back to where your thread stopped originally, we're going to go three more wraps past that, down into the bend of the hook just slightly, and then same thing, wrap back up. Back up to the eyes, and then we go one more time down the body. And then once we get to the bend where we stopped, one, two, three wraps down the bend, and then back up. So what that does is just gives us a little shape to the body and a little bit of a tapered profile. Not too much, just a little bit. A little bit bigger towards the eyes and narrower down towards the tail of the fly. Okay, once we get your thread all the way back up to the bead chain, then we're gonna take our wire ribbing and we're gonna go ahead and wrap it. I usually give it five wraps for this size eight SMP. Equal, even spacing as you can. Tight wraps against the body. Three, four, and then the fifth one ends up right behind the eyes, and I'll take it, and I'll fold it over. You can see that there. Fold that over right there. Kind of pull that down pretty tight. Uh, to secure, that wire ribbing down. Take a few wraps, three, four, one direction, one more the other way, pretty tight. Now it's secure, we can just go ahead, give it some wiggles, and pop it off. Usually give it another wrap each direction, and then I'll take a couple wraps around in front of the eyes, and what we're gonna do now just give it a short little small whip finish. Hold all that in place. Because we're cutting the thread. Okay, cool. There's the body of the fly. But what we want to do now is a lot of these fish you fish for are kind of toothy little creep uh, little critters. Toothy fish. I like to put um, either some good kind of thick fly head cement like I'm using right now or an epoxy to cover all these threads and your wire ribbing. Put a pretty good amount on there. Don't be afraid. Don't be too liberal with it. Go ahead. Or don't be too conservative with it. Be kind of liberal and put a bunch of this fly head cement or epoxy on the body. I don't put the fly head cement or the epoxy 
Try not to put it in between the eyes because that's where we're going to tie everything, all of our material for the wings and stuff on. So we want to try to leave that kind of thin there. But that's it. Once you get a good body, evenly spread out. All we got to do is wait for that to dry. As you can see, I usually try to do more than one at a time when I'm tying these SMPs, as you should with any fly you tie. Um, just let it sit there and dry, and we'll come back in just a minute to finish this fly up. All right, y'all, we're back. That fly head cement has dried on there pretty solid. So we're gonna go ahead and finish tying up this Midnight SMP. Um, what we're gonna do is get our black thread, go ahead, put a few wraps down there to hold that, tie it back on. And it's real easy from here. Okay. First thing we wanna do is tie on the bottom half of the wing. If you're tying one in a different color variation, this is where you tie the lighter color. Um, but for this midnight black pattern, we're just gonna use black marabou for both the underwing and the top wing. Go ahead and get yourself some marabou. You don't have to be too picky about which marabou feathers you choose. I haven't found that it's that important. Stuff a chunk of marabou and we want to tie it in to where the tail of the fly or the wing of the fly extends one hook length past the end of the hook so I'll usually measure that out approximately there what I do here is take a couple wraps each direction over just to hold it in place and then I go ahead and adjust it to where I want it the length I want it and kind of pull it around and move it here and make sure it's straight. Once we got it straight where we want it, clean it up. Once that's there, do a few more wraps to secure it. At this point, because we're gonna stack a bunch of material right there in the same spot, I like to make sure, make sure that it's secure. So I'll put just a dab of super glue to kind of soak into those feathers right there. All right. The next thing we want to do is tie in, and this is the fun part, is glow in the dark flash boo. And all I do is cut myself a strand, cut myself a strand of it. Double it over, put the ends about even. Now trim them up if you need to. You're gonna tie them to the length of the tail. So you'll tie in on one side. Take your other two strands there, fold it over. Tie those in place, trim it up to the end of the tail length, and there's that, okay. Then, all you gotta do is tie on the top part of the wing. Again, I'm gonna use the black marabou for this one. Again, don't go too heavy with it. You want it to be kind of sparse. Um, although, with these midnight SMPs, I do tend to tie them um, a little bit thicker and a little bit more material than I do with a regular SMP in lighter colors. Um, again, if I'm planning on fishing this at night or in real murky water or a real dark cloudy day, which is when I fish these, um, you want it to have a little bit larger profile. The extra material also helps it push more water, creating more vibrations in the water, helps the fish find it. So anything you can do to help the fish find this fly in the dark is something you want to do. Anyway, take your top wing of the marabou, we're gonna tie that on the same way in the same place, right? We tie it everything on right there on top of the eyes. So every wrap, go over an eye, over an eye. So straighten it out, get it where I want it. Go ahead and clean this up. Alright, so 
got that pretty clean. Then we're just gonna clean up the rest of the head with our thread. Carefully laying it down next to each other um, just to try and smooth out as much as that marabou as possible. Go in both directions. Still just doing circle wraps. Or not circle wraps, but kind of X wraps between the B chain eyes. And if you want to spin your thread to make it flat so that it lays down smoother, go ahead. That's not a bad idea. But I'll usually go about five wraps one direction, um, five wraps the other direction, and then go back across again and do three and three. Usually how I go about doing it there. Then we'll make a few wraps right at the nose of the fly. Give it a little whip finish. One, two, three. Y'all know me, I always double it up. Three and four. One, two, three, four. Tighten it down. Clip it off. Get your fly head cement. Again being pretty liberal with the fly head cement for these flies. Get a lot of it on there. Make sure all the thread is good and covered. Let it soak in there pretty good. SMP in the midnight black color. Be sure you take it out, go fish it. Fish it for all sorts of different species. I know you're really gonna love it. Uh, if you're not gonna tie it up yourself or you wanna order some before you do, uh, be sure you check out flydrology.com or you can go ahead and, and order these hand tied. Uh, anyway, be sure if you like these videos, you hit that like button, subscribe, and for more information, check out texasfreshwaterflyfishing.com. Thanks a lot, guys. I enjoy doing these videos. Uh, Y'all come back next week. Thanks, guys. Bye.